The Paramount Theater here at the downtown mall fits 1,000 people, and it was packed this morning for Heather Heyer's memorial service. It was a very emotional and inspirational service, and at one point, the crowd stood up and started cheering for Heather Heyer's mother. They tried to kill my child to shut her up. Well, guess what? You just magnified her. For Heather Heyer's mother, this is just the beginning of her daughter's legacy. You need to find in your heart that small spark of accountability. Susan Bro called on others to find a way to make a difference in the world and stand up for equality the way Heyer did her entire life. I'd rather have my child, but by golly, if I got to give her up, we're going to make it count. Family and friends shared stories of Heyer's passion and compassion for others. She was a lady of happiness and great joy and realized that all lives matter. She loved people. She wanted equality. And in this issue of the day of her passing, she wanted to put down hate. The 32-year-old was killed Saturday when a car plowed into a crowd of counter-protesters gathered to oppose a Unite the Right rally of white nationalists and other right-wing groups. 19 others were injured. 20-year-old James Alex Fields Jr. of Ohio has been charged with second-degree murder and Hire's death. I hope it's not for nothing. Hire's friend Justin Scott talked to her before the rally. I didn't really want her to go, but she felt like she should, and that's what she told me, so I didn't argue with her about it. So I was like, all right, well, if you're going to go, then be safe. No father should have to do this. A sorrowful goodbye to a person so many admired for her courage and love. Thank you, Heather, for all your passion, for all of your talks, for all of your smiles, for believing that this world can change and trying to make that happen. Hire worked as a paralegal for one of the local law firms here in Charlottesville, and her supervisor spoke during the memorial service to talk about how she loved to help others. And he shared some emails that he's received from previous clients who shared their condolences and talked about how he how she impacted them in the in the time that she worked for that law firm. Also, there were several lawmakers here for the memorial service at the Paramount Theater, and that included Governor Terry McAuliffe and Senator Tim Kaine. Working for you in Charlottesville, I'm Claudia Rufsich for CBS 6 News.